Hi, so you have found a 403 forbidden error, but now you are unable to bypass it. So let me show you in this video how you can bypass the 403 error and how you can take full account takeover and access the forbidden directories. For the sake of this video, I have created a Node.js application in which we have two endpoints. One is the home endpoint, which is accessible to public and anybody can access it from anywhere. The second endpoint that we have is just for developers and that can only be accessed with local host and that's it nobody else can access it in 403 forbidden error there are several situations one of them could be the forbidden endpoint suppose some company has some specific IP on which that endpoint can be accessed the other situations could be that they don't want anybody to access certain directories suppose CSS or JavaScript so they make those directories forbidden using the .htaccess file anyway let's get started with this application. So I'll show you two ways. One would be that we know that we can access the endpoint with a local host and the other one would be that we are unaware of the local host thing and we'll use an automated tool to find out how we can exploit the endpoint or how we can bypass the 403 forbidden error. So just to show you the application at front end, we have this endpoint which is the home endpoint and it is accessible to anybody. I can access with the IP address as well as with the local host. The other endpoint is the developers which cannot be accessed from the IP address. It can only be accessed with the local host. In order to bypass this, I will send a request to this endpoint and then grab it in the burp suit. I have already fired up the burp suit so we have this request. I will come over and send the request to repeater. Come to the repeater and just to make sure it is always a good practice that you rename your tabs. your tab with a specific name so that you know which request is for what in repeater. So this was the request with IP address. If I send it over again, you would see access forbidden and the error as 403 forbidden. Now, if I change the host to localhost and then send the request, you would see access granted. This is what we wanted. Just with a simple trick, we have bypassed 403 forbidden error. The next thing I wanna show is that you don't know about this localhost thing. So for that, what you can do is you need to split terminal first so that our application is running as well as can have another thing. So I'll come over to the browser and search for 403 bypass github and you would see quite a few things the first one we can try is this bypass 403 the other one we can use is don't go these both tools work similarly but the only difference between them is the installation in order to install the bypass 403 it is a shell script so you need to make it first the executable and then you can run it pretty much like this but for the don't go 403 it is a go language so you need to first clone it and then you need to build it in the go for that you need the go language so if you are up for that you can use that if you are not the sh don't want you to install anything so you can use that i will show you both let's let's do that so i'll copy the url of 403 bypass i'll come over to my shell directory and i'll take it clone and then paste the url and it will clone the repository the next thing you can do is come over to the official documentation and you can say cd 403 bypass and after that you can come back over and then make it executable so i'll come back over to the terminal and with this command chmod plus x bypass 403s.sh we can make it executable once this is made executable now i can install the figlet application if it's already installed on your system you don't have to install it anymore Okay, so once that gets installed, I can now use the bypass 403. The way you can use it, you can come over and copy the example. So the first thing would be the name of the program and then the URL. Once you paste the URL, then you need to show it the endpoint that you want to exploit. And you can see it will go and try a bunch of stuff. So we have this 200 right over here and we don't see a lot of the things. So it came up with no result. You can try it out again. So this is how you can use the bypass 403. The other application I wanna show is the don't go 403. You can do the same thing with it. You can just get clone it by copying the URL. 
Once you clone it, the next thing you want to do is enter to the directory and then you need to say go get and after go get you can just go build it. Once the go build finishes, you are also set to go and exploit the 403 error. So the way you can do it by coming over to the terminal, writing down the name of the application and then the endpoint that you want to bypass. And you need to specify the dash u flag as well. So you can see it has started and it have it had found some 200 so some of them would be false positive and some of them would work so you can try one by one the only one that you uh, need to try is the one with a 200 status code now the video is getting long so in the next video we can work on the same thing in a great details and that would be a wordpress website so this is pretty much it for this video i hope you did learn how to bypass the 403 error have a pleasant day bye for now and i will see you in the next video